Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonia. Today we are going to go downtown to Pike Place and just see what it's like. I haven't gone in a really long time and uh, ever since like the protest and the riots and everything else, but supposedly Pike Place has been, you know, kind of rejuvenated. They have some new things. They have seating outside. And I just want to go check it out. Want to go to some of my favorite places maybe, get some flowers and maybe some chocolate, my favorite tea, my daughter and the whole gang's with us and of course she wants her favorite donut place so we're just gonna see what it's like. Hopefully it's great, I don't know. Hopefully it's safe, hopefully it's clean, hopefully it's... We're just gonna go down there and you guys are gonna come with us and we'll see what it's all about today. Just wanted to show you our little drive-in on the last Sunday when we went. If you don't know, this is the most beautiful time of year to come visit Seattle. A lot of the year is rainy, even though during the rainy season, I would say it's like drizzly. Because when people said it was rainy, I thought like Texas rain, like rain. It's not. It's like a light rain where you can actually still go do things. Like we have just learned how to run and bike and do everything else when it's just like our rainy season. But I had to show you this view. It was incredible. If you can see, it was a beautiful day. Everybody was out on their boats and having a great time, enjoying this beautiful weather. A lot of times it's just in the low 70s here during the summer. There are no mosquitoes. It is just wonderful. I love this time of year here. It is one of the reasons why I do love living here is definitely there's summers and there is just so many fun things to do around the city this time of year from renting saddened up paddle boards to going on the trails like Smash River Trail, Burke Gilman Trail, on your bike. There is, if you are into biking and a cyclist, this is a place to go. And here it is. We actually uh, parked down there, which we've never done before. And it was $10 the whole day, which if you know in a downtown area, that's a great deal. It's a great deal. And it took us straight into the market. I was like, wow. Now they do have a lot of safety measures put in place. And in this state, if you don't know, everybody is required to wear a mask out in public. Public, And I will tell you, everybody was wearing a mask. So it was really nice if you're you know, a person that worries about COVID and getting sick. It was so nice to see everybody wearing their mask. The views on this day were incredible. This is like their new deck if you haven't been in a while. And then the shops are right behind us. This new area, they actually are adding in more artists and stuff, but we did go on a Sunday. And so during the week and Saturdays, um, there is more and there it is. I was using my husband's phone today to bring my big camera, but you can even see Mount Rainier in the distance, sorry about that. Um, still getting used to using his around public. Um, instead of using my camera, I've been trying to use his phone because that's good. You know, I can use this camera's good on his phone. Um, and there is the big wheel. And I just want to show you this is the Seattle waterfront. They do have ferries that are running right now. So if you want to go visit one of the islands, you can. And this is what they just added in, which makes I loved it. They had all this outdoor seating from all the restaurants. So now you can go pick up your favorite thing to eat and then go sit outside. I'm like, normally there isn't. I want to show you the Seattle Aquarium. If you haven't been there, uh, it's so cool. And it is open now. The Seattle Aquarium actually goes under the sound. So if you have kids that want to see up and close things that live in the sound, there it is. There I am, have our mask on. We're heading in to the shops at Pike Place. Again, we did go on a Sunday afternoon, which I did see that maybe went a little late. I think we got there around, I think around two-ish maybe. And I think a lot of the shops close at four, which and I think some of them kind of close up a little early. We actually plan on going back probably next weekend or the following weekend because we want to hit before um, rainy season actually comes because it was just uh, so gorgeous. And I love all of the artists. There's so many different types of artists down there. They have all the people selling their jewelry and they have people selling shirts. They have people selling food, of course, and just a lot of artists. Like there is another artist. They have just all kinds of stuff for you to look in and take in. 
and it is right now the perfect time to go it wasn't crowded at all like normally during this part like where I'm walking is usually so crowded you can barely walk so if you've ever thought about going to Pike Place now is the time to go and the people that sell all their flowers are back they had actually had a really busy day they said the day that I came so some of them were already a little bit sold out because some people, I guess, rolled out of bed and drove straight there. Um, and I loved that the different farmers and different florists showed where they grow them. I had never really realized it before, probably because it's so crowded and I'm always fighting the crowds to get the pretty flowers. And if you haven't been there, the flowers are so affordable and so beautiful. And like I said, there's just so many different artists selling different things. You could be there all day looking at them. I actually thought this guy was really cool. He had mushroom logs to like grow your own mushrooms. If I had thought about it, maybe I would have stopped and looked at it more. I would say if you were coming into say Pike Place, you could probably spend a day, two days, three days. Pike Place is multiple levels. On this day, I'm only showing you one level, which is like their street level, which is the most popular level where they have all the flowers and they have the guys that throw the fish and everything else. But they actually have, and maybe if you haven't gone, you wouldn't know, but there is multiple levels at Pike Place. There's a lower level. I think there's two underneath. Um, and then there's an upper level and there's restaurant. There's tons of restaurants or shops or magic shops. There's everything that you could think of. You can go by there. You can go and the, oh, there it is. So I was going to show you that one's from Woodenville. If you haven't been to Woodenville, Washington, another thing to check out if you're planning going to see how Woodenville actually has some of the most beautiful wineries. And it's right off the Sammamish River Trail. You could actually run to bike, go on the trail, then hit a winery and like have a beautiful day, especially this time of year right now where it is nice and sunny, not too hot, not mosquitoes. It's just perfect and I love that during this time the florists have the seasonal flowers right now they have dahlias before they have the peonies so um, they just have a ton of stuff I also was surprised to see that some of the restaurants are offering a few of them are offering um, dining inside the restaurant they just have very few people can sit but you can sit against the windows and go in um, and see the waterfront and just sit there which is also really nice especially if you want to sit and take a break but like I said they had all the tables set outside and it was really nice like they never had had that before I don't know what they're gonna do when fall and winter comes with the rain but I don't know I hope they figure out something because it was really great I was like this is so cool because normally you have to stand and walk with your food or take it back to your hotel or something like that and oh my gosh there is so many fruit so much fruit and vegetables if you're coming in from out of town and you're seeing a local hotel or wherever you're staying it's definitely a place to go try some of the local fruit and vegetables that's grown and there is a place that makes their own homemade pasta and oils and you can buy it by the pound but there is just so many places there's lulls if you don't know it's kind of famous you can actually go sit in and uh, eat there there's one of the places that I did see you could go in and sit down they didn't have a lot of seats but they were open you can see that there's a few people sitting there so they can you know stay at the water and take maybe a longer break but I just wanted you to see all of the different places that you can see because I thought about making this film a little bit you know less but my husband's like no everybody that would want to see this wants to see it and of course they have all of their seafood shops that are really incredible if you are looking for fresh seafood Pike Place is the place to go they are a little bit pricey some of them but it is some of the freshest seafood you'll ever get you can even get it shipped to your house if you are from out of town they do ship And there are just so many florists. Normally, um, you cannot smell the flowers because there's just so many people. It's so crowded. Right now, we're walking through. I was like, oh my gosh, you can smell the flowers. It smells so good. There is so many like walk-up little restaurants there. You could probably, my, we, my family were talking, 
you could probably eat there like three or four days in a row and I mean have breakfast lunch and dinner never eat the same place twice and you would still have so many places to go there's so many places right there and so many places right around um, Pike Place oh the Pike Place Bakery my daughter actually loves their cinnamon rolls there we were there towards the end of the day so we didn't have quite as a selection and I'm not sure you know how much each bakery is making every day fortunately we went on a Sunday and the fish guys were not throwing their fish that day I guess right now they're only throwing it I think Monday through Saturday I'm not sure make sure you check online if you are dying to go see I wanted to show you look they even have more outdoor seating and that most of them are connected to some of the restaurants or places where you can like go up and buy something so you have a place to sit and oh, part of the place reason I wanted to go there was to buy my tea, but unfortunately, it was closed. I was so bummed. Yes, we're only open Tuesday through Saturday. So I did go home and get online and order. If you haven't been to Market Spice, I love love their teas. Okay, their chai tea and their Market Spice tea. Their chai. It's like a spicy chai. It's so good. There it is, the Artesian Kitchen. My husband was showing us that because he said that he's taught several classes there. I know he had, but I didn't know exactly where they were. That's what I'm telling you is they have so many like little alcoves of Pike Place. You really could spend the whole day going from little area to little area, looking at all the food, all the shops. Here is, of course, crepes. If you don't know, my daughter is a crepe lover. That's why we stopped there. Part of the reason why we actually want to go back is because my daughter felt like she ate as much as she can. She was so full that she wanted to go back and eat more. My daughter wearing her brain aneurysm uh, survivor shirt. If you don't know, September is brain aneurysm awareness month and I think we possibly might make a video on that. As you guys know, my daughter is a brain aneurysm survivor and September is brain aneurysm uh, awareness month there it is at her favorite donut place oh my gosh you guys they closed at three o'clock we were there at like 302 so they had like sold us like the last little bit of their donuts luckily we were able to still get some fresh donuts for my daughter who loves theirs oh this piece of place there's just so much good food there you need to if you're gonna go go with an empty stomach and ready to eat Yeah, but thank you. Sorry. We're not hot because they were close at three. Really good. I think at some point maybe we'll do the best donuts in Seattle. My daughter loves donuts. You would never think so because she's so skinny. But she loves a good donut, and I think we have been to most donut shops around Seattle. So she can tell you definitely where they are. Believe it or not, Pike Place has an information desk. I've never seen it before, probably because it's always so crowded, and that one part is super crowded, so we normally never get to see it. Here's just a few pictures we took right in the front, and it is was so gorgeous. Look how few people there are. I'm telling you, if you are thinking of going to Pike Place ever, this is it. Get in your car, drive there. If you feel, you know, safe flying, I know Alaskan Airlines is running a huge amount of specials right now going into Seattle. And there's just so many flowers everywhere. There is, I don't even know how you spell it, say it, Elena's, Elena, someone tell me. Anyways, they have like some of the best yogurt and people come here just to eat their yogurt. And here's just more of, this is what I saw there is the huckleberries. People have been saying, have you tried anything with huckleberries? Where can you find them? I saw them there. I've actually never seen them. I've just only seen recipes using huckleberries. And my husband's like, look, there's the huckleberries. You want to, and I was like, I don't even know what they look like. So I was excited to just see what they look like. But it was such a beautiful day there, you guys. If you have the opportunity in the next few weeks, you should really go. If you're looking for a place to stay, make sure that you stay at a hotel, I would say, that has in-room dining and other things because if you are away from the market, a lot of places in Washington are still shut down. A lot of the restaurants are shutting down early or opening later. Definitely shutting down early, so maybe try a hotel that has in-room dining. A good suggestion would be the Sheraton Seattle. 
the Grand Seattle, it's the Sheraton Grand Seattle. It is beautiful. If I had had time, I would have walked through Lobby to show you how pretty it is and true that they actually have a Starbucks in their lobby, which is also nice if you're looking for a hotel to stay at. And they also have really yummy in-room dining. And this bakery, it was called, I was like, I had never really looked at the name before. I thought it was really cool. I. I've always I've actually bought bread there but it's always so crowded like you are usually in line you never get the opportunity to really look except like just getting in line and right at the window at the last minute because there's usually a really there's also so many fresh seafood places and a lot of them actually have some of it cooked off or they can cook it off right in front of you and then you can sit down and have something to eat or in this case they usually eat, like this place um, Jack's Fish and Chip Spot I've eaten there with my husband they usually have like a walk-up little thing where you can sit but because of COVID you actually sit on the outside um, with tables there's my husband chasing bird I'm like don't do that they had so many cute birds there that day um, but it's just want to say they have the creamery I actually haven't been in there before And here are some more of the places that they have. A lot of people here really love the smoked salmon. And obviously, Seattle is known for their salmon. It's really good. There's so many fruit and vegetable vendors. Okay, this is one of our favorite Greek places. Um, we usually go down there to get our gyros if we're going. Gyros. I can't say it. Y'all tell me again how to say it. Um, but their stuff is really good. Their baklava is good. Their desserts are good. Um, at the time, has my son and I decided, okay, well, we'll share one. You'll we'll see what happens. Let's start. Okay. That oh, looks good. <laughs> I will. Okay. I'll try it. The table is now to sit at. God, I wish they always had them. I, want me to go I get tried it. More. And now it's mine. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> John had to go get a new one. Another diet coke. Going to get one more. This is so good. I was going to just have a bite. It's pretty an old thing. There you go. You got? One's a chocolate and I can take a bite first. I don't know if she's going to like it or not. <laughs> not good. <laughs> What'd she say? It's not good? Oh. Swallow first. Well, the croissant looks good. Have chocolate. It tastes a little bit like coffee or crack because it's it's like dark chocolate. So it's a little. Uh, it uh -oh. has like B I T T E R. Yeah, I, I just like that one. But I like it. I knew. She would or she doesn't. She picked, I let her pick the chocolate. I picked the lemon because I thought maybe Elena would like the lemon better. Yeah. 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 So try the croissant with the almonds. Hey, you try first. She's gonna like it. <laughs> you like that, huh? It might be better Ooh. to get it. Hang on, hang on. It might be better to get it with the sun hitting it. Okay. Oh, yeah. No surprise that Raven wants to go to Pike Place to go back and eat some more and try some more things since it wasn't so crowded that day. My husband is not a big Suzuki fan, that's why his was just plain. But I wanted to show you everybody trying their things. There were so many cute birds there. I didn't feed him. Basically, mad at me. He already had a snack on the ground. I don't know from who, but there was just so many of them. There's a fire truck driving by. I think they were just driving through. Um, here is a truffle place. I know a lot of people love their truffles. And here is me some pastry. They are actually really known for their hum bao that I forgot to show you. It's right there in the corner and um, that is stuffed with different types of meats and of course all their delicious pastries. If I hadn't already eaten at the Greek place, maybe I would have gotten some hum bao because I had before and theirs are super good. I ended up getting um, I love red bean if you haven't tried it. Um, 
have it at a lot of like sushi restaurants and there I was going to show you that they actually are there making it right in front of you and you can watch. I did get one of, we bought two different pastries and I got the red bean like with the sesame, bro, sesame ball. They, it was so good. I couldn't eat it there. I ate it once I got home because I was just already at that point too full. Like I said, you guys could spend days walking around Pike Place. There's just so many things to see. And if you are a foodie, there are so many different places to eat at. And here's Beecher's Cheese. I love that you can go watch them in the winter in the window. And they are always making cheese. And you can watch them make it. And they are known, you can go in and buy their cheese. And they are really well known for their macaroni and cheese. So it's made with the Beecher's Cheese. And you can actually pick it up around here. They are in local stores here in case you forget to buy it there. They also sell it here at our local Costco's. I'm not sure if it's national or if they just have them here at our Costco since Costco has started here, believe it or not. Fun fact. Um, there's just so many places to eat. There's La Paneer. That's where my daughter had gotten her croissant and all of her uh, delicious pastries. And here coming up is Prosky Prosky. They're super famous for their Proskies. There's usually, believe it or not, a line out the door and you usually have to wait probably at least 30 minutes to get one. But look, there is hardly anybody there so you could have just gone in and ordered whatever you want. If you haven't had Prosky, they are really delicious. And here is the original Starbucks. I thought originally about getting in line until obviously I walked up. That's the original Starbucks logo, believe it or not. It's not what it is now on our cups. This is the original and first Starbucks. And even though Park Place wasn't super crowded that day, of course, there's a super long line outside Starbucks. So I was like, uh, it's okay. I'll pass on it today. I'll go get me um, some coffee somewhere else. And as you know, Seattle is known for their coffee. And there are a lot of coffee places right around Pike Place that have baristas that can make beautiful designs on your coffee. I'm sure we'll go back down and maybe I can tape record some of them making some of their beautiful coffees, you know, with the cream and they can make all kinds of pretty things on top of your coffee. It is really fun to watch. And glass, if you don't know, this part of the country is actually known for all of their glass blowing and if you have a little extra time, there's always a Museum of Glass in Tacoma. I've actually gone there with my sister and it's like a fun place to go and you can actually watch them blow glass. And there are plenty of places around Seattle where you can go blow glass yourself in case you wanna take it in. Also in Seattle Center, you can also go to the Chihuly, um, he's like Garden of Glass. Anyways, it's really cool. It is really, I love seeing all the glass. Even in the Sheraton Grand, they have a big glass exhibit, which is also really pretty. There's my son, my sweet son. He bought his girlfriend some flowers before we left that day. I couldn't decide which ones I wanted, so I was like telling my husband, I want some flowers, but I don't know which one I wanted. I'm telling my daughter that I want to buy your mom some flowers. We actually were in line to get some, and the guy in front of me had decided I'd be okay, and of course he took the one I wanted. So then we went to a different flower vendor further down, I was like, I don't know if I wanted some that were more for autumn, or more like pink and purple, because I love those colors, and I decided on the pink and purple, because I was like, should I get the ones that are more orangey, or should I get the ones that are more pink? And so, of course, I got the pink ones. <laughs> That's my husband telling my daughter that we got, he got some for me and my son got some for her. And here's just a few pictures that my daughter took. If you haven't seen her photography, most of my thumbnails are actually taken by my daughter as a fun fact. And her photography is incredible. I'll have to share it in some of the other videos. She has really gotten into photography. And here we are on the way out. I just wanted to show you the parking garage that we parked in. It literally is practically inside Pike Place. You park. $10. It was easy getting in and out. We were leaving. Nobody there. So there you go. There it is. It's called Pike Place Market Parking. It was super easy to do. 
this is on the way out I just had to show you this hill I was like oh my god some of these hills around Seattle I will say downtown are just like straight up and down and I do not like driving in them doesn't bother my husband you can see these are like super steep like the ones you see in California especially when it's raining um, for some reason I'm always afraid like when you go from like brake to gas that my car is gonna like skid back and like hit the person behind me it just gives me anxiety and as we're leaving I am thinking of all the places that I forgot to go to <laughs> and thinking okay we're gonna have to come back a different weekend and if you guys really want to see a part two let me know down in the comments and there's my husband telling me did you see that place called Sonia's it's spelled differently but hey it's the same name as you and I was like of course it is I have a great name right <laughs> and here's Sarah's leaving and one of the places that I forgot to go to you guys is Fran's Chocolate. It actually, just fun fact, uh, was here, but it really got famous by Oprah Winfrey because she loves her chocolate and it was like one of her episodes of My Favorite Things. And then it got super famous. It's like going to a chocolate place that kind of makes you feel like you're going into a jewelry store. The chocolate is like in cases and they put it in a beautiful box. It's kind of wrapped up like Tiffany's like it feels like really indulgent chocolate and it is it's kind of pricey but it tastes really good my favorite thing if I were to say from France is probably their sea salt caramels because they have like the salt on it the caramel the chocolate it's really delicious and there is this passing by the front of pie place and there is France oh, I forgot to go but we're gonna go back I promise so please let me know. And there's Japanese and my husband also told me that we need to go back and have sushi there that is really incredible sushi. Me and my son are big sushi lovers, so there you go. Well, I hope you enjoy this. And there's Sheraton Grand if you guys want to know where it is. Yesterday, I didn't have the opportunity to tell you what I truly thought of it, and I don't know how the audio is. I'm just about to edit the video. Um, but it was probably the most amazing visit we've ever actually had to Pike Place. So I would encourage anybody that lives around here or thinking of going, maybe they're flying in Seattle, go. It was amazing. It was cool. It was the best time to go. It wasn't, it was the least crowded I've ever seen it. So take this opportunity to go if you've ever thought about going. The only thing was certain things weren't open because it was Sunday. But I plan on going back on a Saturday uh, before rainy season hits or be before it gets too crowded it had it was a really great visit and I encourage anybody that's thinking of going to go and just also wanted to end this video with some thoughts for y'all to think about Labor Day is coming up and most of the time in the United States we think of sitting in our backyards and grilling but this year I'm asking everybody to go out and don't grill don't grill get with your family but go to your favorite restaurants if you're thinking of like a last minute trip, go on a last minute trip. Because everybody in hospitality needs it right now. Everybody does. I think we all think that next year we're going to get together and everything is going to still be there. Our favorite restaurant will still be there. Our favorite hotel that we'd like to vacation in the summer is going to be there. But I'm here to tell you that it may not be. And so I'm asking everyone to go. Go order from your favorite restaurant. Go see your favorite hotel. I'm begging everyone to go do it because they will not be there next year if we don't support them. I have a husband in hospitality and this last week was really rough. He had to do things that he didn't want to do. He, it was really hard on us. So I'm begging everyone, go to your favorite restaurant, don't grill at your house, go pick it up, you know, bring it home. You can get together, have a ton of people over, but go pick it up, go support your restaurants. Go on your last minute vacation. Go stay at your favorite hotel because if we don't, next year they won't be there. And that's what I want to leave you with. Go do it. And ask all your friends. If someone invites you to, you know, get together, say, no, let's go pick it up or whatever. What are you going to bring? Go do it. Go to your favorite Starbucks this week. Go get your favorite drink. Go to your favorite whatever it is. Go do it. We need to support everyone out there because if we don't, next year they won't be there. Okay? So that's what I want to leave you with today. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and on a lighter note, uh, the uh, governor of the state just approved 
all the outdoor fall fun activities. So of course, I'm going to the apple orchards. We're gonna go pick our pumpkins this year. And of course, we're gonna take you along and then, of course, giving you recipes with something to do with all this fun stuff. So again, do me a favor this Labor Day. Don't grill, go pick up your food. Okay, thanks for watching and go, go to Pike Place. You're gonna love it. Bye. Thank you.